Welcome to the online public briefing for the 2020 Innovation Program. The Innovation Program supports those who take on challenges without fear of failure with their extraordinarily ambitious ICT technological developments in order to uncover global scale disruptive value creation within the ICT field. This program was started in 2014 and is now entering its seventh year. The 2020 Innovation Program is primarily split into two parts the Disruptive Challenge, and the Generation Award. We want extraordinarily ambitious ideas, technologies, and geeks. Anybody can apply, with no limit on age, nationality, or residence. You can also apply on behalf of anyone else on Earth, so put forward any friends or family who have incredible ideas. If you are applying for yourself, please apply either as an individual or as a group. You can apply to both categories at the same time. If you are unsure which category is best for you, please apply to both. It's also possible to apply by referring someone around you who is interesting and up for a challenge, even if their idea is a little strange. We will also not disclose any of your information if you decide to refer someone else. Let's take a look at each department in a little more detail, starting with the disruptive challenge. This department has a primary goal of creating disruptive innovation and value in the ICT field through unusual and ambitious ideas, your ambitious technical goal. With COVID-19 spreading globally, we aim to bring new hope into people's lives. This is a new turning point in modern civilization happening right before our very eyes, bringing major changes in society and industry. We're looking for new suggestions and ideas to overcome this difficulty and we encourage everyone to be bold and unafraid of failure. The period of the disruptive challenge is a maximum of one year, but it is also possible to complete it in under one year. The highest amount of assistance in this division is 3 million Japanese yen. Following graduation and selection to be an inno beta, you will receive support for global expansion of your ideas. Take a look at this diagram. It shows the flow from application onwards. After selection, nominated proposals will be announced around October. Challengers whose proposals are nominated can expect to begin development around the middle of November. Although there are maximum periods in support for each stage, you are free to select each yourself, so be sure to take advantage of this made-to-order system. Upon a successful graduation evaluation, you will be certified as an Inno Beta and you can receive support for global expansion. The Disruptive Challenge is split into a two-part process. After the selection process, those who pass will proceed to the Zero to One Challenge. This is your opportunity to not be afraid of failure, and you are encouraged to do as much trial and error as you like. This is the time to establish and clarify your path to the ambitious technical goal. The maximum time period is four months, and maximum support is one million Japanese yen for this period. So please set the time period and support to your liking. When you feel that you are ready, you may apply for evaluation to proceed to the next stage. Please apply to the executing agency when you think you're ready. Those who pass the evaluation at this stage will advance to the disruptive challenge. The second stage is the disruptive challenge. In this period, the target is to advance towards your ambitious technical goal. Including the zero to one challenge, 
the total maximum period is up to one year. In addition, the total support amount, including the zero to one challenge, is 3 million Japanese yen. In other words, the zero to one challenge and the disruptive challenge combine to a total of up to 3 million Japanese yen and one year development period. So if the zero to one challenge is ended early, the disruptive challenge will be extended to meet the full year. Now we will explain the application contents. First, Applications should include the following three pieces of information. Please include these in the application form on the official website. The name of the technological proposal, up to 100 characters. The overall goal you wish to achieve, up to 1,200 characters. And the path to achievement, up to 2,000 characters. You may also submit additional documents, demos, and prototypes with your application. Submission of additional materials is optional, however. Additional materials, demos, and prototypes can be attached to the official website's application form. You may also submit additional materials via post to the executing agency. Additional materials cannot be delivered in person to the executing agency. Additional materials submitted via post must be postmarked by the submission deadline. Please note that as a general rule, any submitted materials will not be returned. Now let's talk about the Generation Award. The Generation Award commends ideas related to the ICT field, including small yet interesting ideas that nobody has conceived before, cutting edge technologies, even without knowing the best way to use them, and discoveries you wish to make a reality. The emergence of people and companies who can use your small everyday ideas or your peculiar technology in unexpected ways may be the first step in changing the world. In addition, corporate prizes may be awarded to any proposal that the cooperative partners wish to support. The nominees for the Generation Award will be selected from the submitted proposals. Recipients of the Generation Award will be selected from these nominees. We await your unrestricted ideas. Now let's talk about the contents of the application. You will need a proposal title under 100 characters and a summary of the proposal. 1200 characters if it's written, but you may also apply with videos, products, etc. These two parts should be entered first into the application form. Other than that, you can also submit any supplementary materials you may have in the application form. These extra materials are optional. If preferred, extra materials can also be mailed to us directly. However, we will be unable to accept any materials delivered to us in person. Items postmarked prior to the deadline will be accepted. Please note that as a general rule, we cannot return any materials submitted in this way. So let's introduce you to the supervisors who will be evaluating the disruptive challenge. The supervisors conduct every aspect of the disruptive challenge's evaluation. Every supervisor has made incredible achievements within their respective field. Supervisors will evaluate the contents of submitted applications one at a time. After applicants have begun the challenge, there will be several evaluations, all carried out by the supervisors. The Innovation Program has a number of program advisors that offer input and give advice about the contents of the program. These extraordinary individuals from various fields put the disruptive challenge to the test by offering their expert advice on how to improve the program. This is the official website's application form. After reading the sections on handling personal information and matters of attention, check the box to agree to both items and click apply to continue. The application form page will then be displayed. Please enter in the required information. We recommend that you fill out this information in advance and enter it into the application form to protect against any unforeseen technical errors that may occur during the application process. Applications for the 2020 Innovation Program are open until August 31st, 2020 at 6 p.m. JST. You can apply using the application form on the Innovation Program's official website. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to your extraordinarily ambitious ideas. <laughs>
Thank you.